My name is Layla Harris, and I'm an assistant professor with a joint appointment in the Institute for Resources, Environment, and Sustainability and the Center for Women and Gender Studies. I have a couple main different things that I research. Uh, the first one is questions around water access and politics. So I've worked mainly in Turkey and the Middle East, looking at questions around water and conflict. And I'm especially interested in a couple of linkages. One is to questions around identity and citizenship. So how their negotiation and access to water affects their sense of self and sense of belonging to a broader political community. So for instance, we know that access to water is not only about whether or not their families stay healthy, but people experience sadness and shame and, you know, again, a sense of belonging or not. If they're excluded from access and other people are able to gain access, how does that affect their sort of sensibility as citizens? Another main interest, which is, speaks to my interest in CWAGs and women's studies, is I look a lot at gender inequality and resource access in the development discourse of the Turkish state how they sort of think and talk about gender. So I've argued that gender is one of the important reasons why they're pursuing this development project. And the development project is known as GAP. It's a major transformation of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers in pursuit of livelihood and economic betterment, among other goals. So now with provision of irrigation, it's a whole new agroecological landscape. They're planting now increasingly cotton, which is an intensive irrigated crop. It also relies on a lot of pesticides and other things. So it's changing the labor dynamics within the villages. And there's different work expectations on women, men, and children. So women do most of the manual tasks around irrigated agriculture and cropping. So for instance, they harvest, they weed um, the cotton. Now the men are taking the cotton and selling it. And so the men come to the household with a monetary contribution. And the women no longer make the direct contributions to the household needs in the way that they used to. So I'm very interested in the way that that's described and narrated because men are saying our women don't work anymore. They're lazy, they just sit, you know, and in fact, the women's contributions are sort of more indirect because they're laboring in the fields, they're doing the harvest, um, but that's sort of being described as if they're no longer contributing because they're not doing the beds, the wool, the milk, you know, and the other things that they used to do in the subsistence economy. So these are things I've been working on for a long time, but not always feeling institutionally supported, so I'm, I'm fairly happy now to be in a context where it's expected of me to cross over between disciplines and sort of pull together and hopefully collaborate with colleagues on some of these questions. And so I think to better understand processes, we need both very careful, you know, work that stays within certain domains and just sort of pushes it, but also work that's always trying to bridge and connect and speak across those domains.